We are back with some Power League after a uh, little break from YouTube videos. I've been streaming, you guys been there. If not, no worries. So my current favorite brawler is Miko, and this whole video is just gonna be assassins, like Miko, Edgar, just brawlers that jump on your head. And I think they're really strong right now. Miko in particular, I've been having a lot of fun with. So I do use the long jump on Miko. I think it applies a lot of pressure. I do think the other gadget's pretty good as well. But uh, just personally, I feel like I can connect a lot more. The star power, where you steal the ammo, is the only thing that makes this brawler playable. Uh, otherwise, I think it's very bad with it. I think it's extremely good. Um, and it just applies a ton of pressure in uh, certain modes and maps into the right comps. <clears throat> so you can see there, my teammate's doing a good job. I just jump up the map uh, to get position, and you do want to play around your red bar. So next time I record a video with Miko, I'll make sure to do it live so you guys can just see, because I'm always timing it. I am going to build up my super, so I have it right now. I can just jump on him and jump out if needed. I get my super, I time it so I can dodge his super. And uh, yeah, we're going to look to get the mag down here and just get him out of mech. Could have killed the bow too, but he was going to run away, so that's fine. I'd rather just secure a kill. And I get my super back. Just going to jump over and then pop my super again. None of these brawlers. The only thing they have to counter it is... Uh, Piper Jump. Piper Jump's actually very good into it, uh, but if it's just like that, I can kind of 1v3 them pretty much if I play it properly. And yeah, that's going to be game number one. Game number two, looking to just hop over, get behind their walls, same thing, cause a lot of pressure. Even if I'm not doing it, I missed my jump there. So you can actually jump further with Miko if you aim it like 50% over a wall. So it's kind of a nice strategy to use and uh, it helps you connect on some shots as well. So yeah, I'm just gonna long jump towards him, finish the kill off, get two hits, and uh, yeah, once I get my super into these guys, it's kind of over for them. So I do really want to build it up. I don't want to use my gadgets, even though, um, you know, I could probably use a gadget there. It's definitely not worth it. Uh, there's no guarantee that will win, even though it is looking really good. I'm gonna jump over the walls, just aim for here. I see the mines there. I think I saw them on totem, so I'm just gonna trigger the mines. I always get a little worried <laughs> when I do that because I had some bad experience with bow mines before. And uh, yeah, you can see you can see they're gonna focus me really hard. My teammates are gonna do a really good job picking up on them. And uh, I'll get the piper jump out. I'll finish the mag off. And I'll actually get the Piper to one shot. Luckily, my Mandy is there to clean up. I could have went behind the wall, but uh, I thought the Mandy could just kill it anyways. So, really quick, clean win on Miko. All right, game number two. Now, I'm not as... I think I'm really good at Miko, honestly. I think I overpick it sometimes, but uh, I like experimenting when new brawlers come out. I got Wink on my team. He's always good in my Power League team. So, Slobby's already looking good. And... Yeah, I went Edgar because I'm trying to do this video and I am trying to like just get more familiar with when I can pick these assassin brawlers. I don't think it's always like a free last pick. I think they're strong enough right now that you can like 4-5 them, in some cases even like 2-3 them. And uh, you can see Wink just missing there on the Mandy Super. I don't want to jump into three of them. They have a Nani. If the Nani is like decent at the brawler, you can just one-shot the Edgar. Um, so I'm definitely just kind of getting some space. We do have gene heals. I can always jump out and I'm playing plus one gadget So I really wish I had speed gear for knockout. I gotta remind myself to buy it But you can see I'm just holding like space here and we're just kind of waiting for the smoke to come in Even if I'm not really doing anything. I'm just keeping my position I'm getting like my hypercharge passively because super thought that was a good idea for some reason I'm gonna jump in and I'll just run backwards uh, to dodge the Nani shot and I'll get them, uh, I'll kill the Mr. P and get the Nani low and my team can clean up. So I do think I have hypercharge now. Yeah, I get it right here. This is so unfortunate. If I had speed gear, okay, he misses everyone. If I had speed gear, I team wipe them. Because I don't, he's slightly out of range because he has speed gear. So I just kind of throw the round. Um, <laughs> I can, like, 100% if I, like, hit him, like, one time and just stay on him, I can team wipe them there because you chain so easily. Um, but, yeah, obviously that's my fault. Like I said, not as good on, uh, Edgar's a little less forgiving than Miko. You can't really jump out. I mean, you can, but not right away. Um, so, yeah, that was my fault. All right, like I said, Wink's my boys. <laughs> Don't really want to troll this Power League game, so I'm gonna 
Play a little more reserved here, just get position. Even if I get hit, like we have gene heals, I'm not really worried. Our comp's pretty decent. Uh, nice super there, getting the Leon low. I'm gonna just threaten to be here. I'm also on... So on Edgar, I personally prefer the healing star power, but I think here the other one makes sense, just because they're all low HP. Um, and Wink, he's just doing a really good job tapping them, getting them in their spawn. I don't want to jump into all three of them again. I feel like, even though I could, and like there's a way like I'll kill some of them or whatever, we get a kill or two. Uh, there's a Nani, he can one-shot me. I wait for the Nani to use head. I know it's going to be like a 3v2 if I jump in. Uh, and like I said, the Nani is the only one that can really burst me super hard. Leon can't kill me fast enough. And yeah, I'm just going to jump on Leon there. And we're going to go and just kill the Nani down here. So, the second round, like, I don't even think I... If I have speed gear, it's good. I wanted speed gear, I just didn't have it unlocked. Game number two two uh so yeah gonna do the same thing just press my gadget and get my super and hypercharge i can jump on the leon and kill him so if he ever gets like overextended like that i'm gonna go and kill him and that easy i just like troll i think i died to something here maybe i don't actually maybe it's the next round Spoiling. um but yeah i'm just trying to let wink get his super but yeah, you can just see how good Edgar is at picking people off. If they're not standing on top of each other with their comp, like, I can just kill any of them besides Nani, you can kill me. Um, I'm kind of feeding Mr. P. I'm trying to bait him in closer so Wink can get his super, but like, at this point I'm like, alright, he's gonna get penguins, like, maybe I'll let Wink just get his thing. He popped his gadget. I think there's a world where the Mr. P can win that if I don't kill him, because uh, he does have penguins, he can just use them to body block. They're all mad at each other now. And, uh, yeah, I do get my hypercharge here. I think I get carried away with my hypercharge again. I think I want to see if I can kill the Nani or something like that. I forget exactly what happened. We'll have to see. But, uh, I am going to look to catch someone out again if they do overextend. The penguins are pretty annoying, but I'm just getting gene healed. And, uh,. Okay, we're getting pushed back right now. I am getting a little low, but those gene heals are so nice. Look, I have hypercharge in my super again, so I'm thinking about going back in. And unfortunately, I get clipped by the Nani. It was a good shot by him. I should have just backed off, though. Um, and just taken the 3v2. So, a little unfortunate. And just off of matchups and like the situation, like my teammates are not favored here. They have... Uh, Gene into Mr. P with penguins on the ground, and a porter in his hand, Nani into Mandy, so, you know. He goes for the pull, he didn't have ammo, so a little questionable, but, uh, that's okay. I traded, I should've got, like, out after the kill, so. I, I still don't think there's, like, any situation where we should lose this game, though. I'm just gonna tank the Nani head there, and, uh, just play it slow. Keep the Mr. P some penguins, why not? But yeah, I see the Leon and the Mr. P are over here, so I am looking to go in here. I think I pop my gadget to maybe get my hypercharge or something like that. Maybe before I go in, I pop it. So on Edgar, you pop your gadget if you have some to spare uh, before you go in, so it starts charging your super again. You can chain jumps really easily. It's, it pairs well with the star power because you get extra damage from that. And uh, not, don't do it every time because gadgets are so important. But in this is, situations like this, like third round of knockout, like yeah, definitely do it. Gene's gonna miss the pull. That's okay. Uh, just looking to go in here whenever I can, and getting hit again too much. Need those gene heals, come here gene. The Mr. P is like all by himself, so I'm gonna pop my gadget and just jump on him. Do take him out, and then I think I can go for the, yeah, I get hypercharge. I get, when you have hypercharge, even if there's a Nani, I feel like you can just jump on them pretty much. Um, but you can get one shot if there's three people standing on top of each other, but it's just so strong, so. Pretty, I mean, a few mistakes, obviously, but I think Edgar was a good pick here. All right, so Cord technically is an assassin, and I'm gonna show you guys how to counter assassins at the same time, an assassin that counters assassins, uh, because they do have a Miko, and he's probably on, I mean, he's definitely on like the high star power. So I went mute, usually everyone goes Cord. I also went, uh, what's it called? The extra damage star power. Nobody on my team was defending the cult. It's kind of weird. 
Crowley shouldn't have taken the cold there, but I don't think it really matters because I can kill him. My Nita should just shoot the save, it's not hitting anyone. And uh, I think I have the Gene from last time. So Nita just needs to throw the Bear on save. It could have like almost another Bear already. Um, so yeah, that's definitely a misplay there. And this game, we just gave them, like nobody was on the Colt at the start for whatever reason. I was on the Monkey and nobody's been at the Colt. I meant to take the Colt there. I suddenly took the Colt. <laughs> he blended in, I don't know. And uh, yeah, I see the Monkey going back, but I think I'm too far up, so I have to let the Nita deal with it. He's not very good at hitting it. And I'm gonna take the bull, he's in hypercharge, but we just lose the game. The Nita's a little silly, I think. Uh, so, rough game one. All right, game number two. Um, so yeah, pretty rough game number one, but I think our comp's definitely better here. It's a really free core game. And I do regret not going the Mushroom Star Power. I just thought because it's heist, like, if I get on safe, like, I do get the extra damage from the star power. So I thought it might be worth it. And I'm just making sure the monkey doesn't get in for free. I do have plus one gadget, so I have four mutes right now. I think mute was definitely the right call. I think it's pretty underpicked right now on Cord, uh, given, like, the brawlers that are pretty better right now. Obviously, the jump's really good, too, but I never see pe people play the mute, and I think it's, like, just so strong in the tanks and everything. Um, let's see, I'm gonna mute him. I don't know, I missed one of my shots, but I feel like I should definitely do that better. And uh, I'm not a good cord player. I don't think I'm terrible, but I'm not. it's not my brawler. So I am going to be just going for the bull, and he's going to be one shot. He does have hypercharge. So I don't want to die like he just killed me, so I'm like being careful. The monkey's on safe. I think we can kind of just live with that. I'm going to mute the bull, and... The Amber should have... Okay, yeah. I mean, we won the game, so that's all that matters. But yeah, I don't think Miko's the best in Heist. I've experimented with it a lot. Uh, it does have a star power that lets you do more damage with the Heist safe and just objects that aren't Brawlers. I think that's how it's worded. Um, so mainly for the Heist safe. It does a lot of damage, but I feel like you can see right there he does 17 damage just by running up the side. I feel like it gets to a point where... I don't know how to word it, like you don't do anything besides safe damage and it takes you a while to get off the map. So it's kind of like a 2v3 to your teammates. And maybe if you have like two control brawlers or two anti-tank and they're like all running down, you need to like do damage. Um, but I don't think it's that great. And I'm gonna stop the bull's hypercharge there, which is the main reason I picked cord. Um, and yeah, I'm just gonna look to pinch the coal and get my Nita up the map as well. Colt does a lot of damage. I shouldn't have tried taking him like that. Nice burn from the Amber there is actually going to hit the monkey. Uh, Nita wastes its bear. Um, it's not really the best bear, but that's okay. And yeah, I can take Cord as well. Or sorry, Colt as well with Cord. It's a hypercharge. I'm just going to take the bull though so I don't die and uh, it doesn't go in. And yeah, I'm going to go under. And I do have a mute even if the bull goes in. So I think it's fine. He can't really do that that much. I'm going to take him so the monkey doesn't land on me and kill me. Uh, and I'll just take the bull as well. So we are down by a good amount, but we have control and our comp does so much damage if we ever get on save. So I really think it's fine. The Nita, yeah, it's just trying to get bare. I'm just gonna poke safe. I do have the damage star power, so I'm waiting for the monkey to jump. And uh, he's gonna gadget me and you'll see, I'll just mute him, can't really do anything. And just like that, we're caught up. So I think it's really a fine state to be in. I'm just hovering my mute right now. I'm gonna go back and defend the monkey. And he does a really good jump here. I tried being sneaky in the bush, but I should have flashed it to like just kind of bait. Um, so that was pretty bad to me, but we're going to kill the monkey. And yeah, as long as we don't get team wiped here, I think we're fine as well. Nita just needs to shoot the safe a little bit. Uh, and it does manage to get it. So yeah, game two and three were a lot better. <laughs> Alright guys, so it's another knockout Miko game. I'm not sure if I'm doing something wrong at the start of my games, but I feel like there's always a slight delay with me getting moving. I'm just gonna jump over the wall and take out that Leon turret. Uh, if I can do that every single time, I will. And uh, good shots from my teammates here. I do have long jump in, so I am able to get that kill. And uh, I'm just gonna go over and get the Mandy. So I wanna get in a spot where I'm just applying a lot of pressure, same as the other knockout map, and my teammates can kind of just move with the map and pinch really well with me. Programming error. 
So, same thing. One of the best counters for Miko is actually not knowing where they are, like the Leon turret or like a lot of mobility. Um, and I'm just gonna pressure the tick here and I can just time the gadget and I think I get the kill. Fortunately, I do trade. My teammate died and uh, the other everyone just pinched me. I should have killed him. I should have just went away, but... Uh, and yeah, I don't think my spread's gonna win this. <laughs> Anyway, so I do have my super and you know look to just kind of apply pressure once again. I'm just kind of harass the tick a little bit. See if I can get the tick head out. Uh, I do see the Leon get taken low and then I go for him. And I'm just gonna kill the Mandy. There's a world where the tick can defend me with the tick head. Um, but that's a guaranteed kill, so I'm gonna go for the Mandy and we're gonna take game one. Game number two. So just gonna jump over the water and just get up the map as fast as I can and just try kind of spreading their focus. So I think it's really important to just kind of jump around on Miko and you know get your hits in for your super where you can. Fortunately like I don't understand how my teammate died there, that's like very bad. Um, and I do get them low. Mandy is actually very good into Miko because it does so much damage. Um, and it's like a slight delay on the shot as well. So it actually, I think it's pretty good in Miko. You just have to time it right, and I think that's easy enough to do. But here, if I can kill the Mandy, if I could dodge one shot, I think I can win. Um, Tickhead would be very annoying, but yeah. Bell's gonna get hit, and I do have my super. So we're gonna see how that goes. And I think I get greedy and go for the turret here or something. Yeah. Cause that first shot hit me and then I should've just went backwards. Honestly, that's so unlucky my teammates didn't get the kill there though. Uh, they almost get the kill, which would've been good. They could've won, but I think 2v3 is just not realistic for them. All right guys, game number three. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna jump up the middle. Take it out and not die this time. Um, so I'm just gonna look to keep pressure on the tick. I can kill like any of these brawlers though if they are alone. I see he's low over there, so just kind of go for him. And I know he has shoot through wall gadget, so I gotta be a little careful. I'm just play ring around to Rosie here. I'm trying to regen so he doesn't gadget me again. Uh, but my sprout's hitting some good shots on him. And we're gonna take round number one. Jump up again. Puts it a little further back. I don't want to force it like I did that one time and died. Uh, I'm getting taken low, but there's not really a huge threat once again. I know he's invis, so I'm not trying to jump. I'm just trying to regen. And if I see him shoot, then I'll jump. I'm just gonna jump up to dodge some mines and kind of get them to focus me. Um. Fortunately, I am getting pinched really hard, and I do run out of ammo. My bell almost gets a good shot there, and my sprout, I feel like you can definitely kill him here. Uh, he had a good wall, but he just missed a shot. Um, but they do get a kill, and it is going to be 1v2, so, uh, I mean... It's a little sloppy, but playing it relatively well, I guess. And at this point, it's kind of over. You can just wall them off and uh, just spam out one thing, just like they're doing right now. And uh, he gets hypercharge. It could have been a little close, honestly. But yeah, good job for my teammates, and we're going to win that one as well. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to be uploading uh, more often. Had a little break uh, from Worlds and everything, but I've been making a lot of like streaming content and stuff like that. So looking to do more videos as well and maybe like TikToks and other stuff like that. Anyways, guys, hope to see you soon. Peace.